Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is time for another menu plan for the week. There is no grocery haul this week. There probably should have been, but I ran out of time. So, so be it. Um, not a whole lot this week because of our little road trip. So, a couple meals on the road this week. Maybe we'll be able to get through this. I'm not sure. Somebody is not happy. They are not embracing the time change. And neither is the baby. So, anyway. Um, yeah. There's one... Yeah, I'm not cooking a whole lot this week. Didn't I say that last week too and the week before? But it's just how it's going right now. So it, it happens. Um, but I think we'll be okay. So I am just going to, while he's quiet, turn you around and show you what we are eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner next week. Okay, Sunday and Monday, there are no meals being made here. They are all on the road. We are packing food. We are taking bagels and cream cheese and yogurt and Lara bars and nuts and things like that. Um, but for the most part, any big meal will be on the road. So probably dinner will be on the road. We'll see. Tuesday, back at it with Chunky Monkey Oatmeal Bowl for breakfast, turkey sandwich for lunch with veggies and fruit, and dinner is a new recipe. It is salmon with a lemon cream sauce and I'm gonna serve it with rice and a veg. For Wednesday, bagel and cream cheese, because it is a chemo day. So we need something that we can grab quick in the morning, because we do have to be there early this week. Lunch, I'm gonna pack our usual chicken salad, crackers, veggies, dip, and fruit in a bento box. And dinner is being provided from a neighbor, and it is going to be chicken and dumplings, I already know that, so. Sure, it will be delicious. On Thursday, we're gonna do a breakfast sandwich. Lunch is gonna be tuna with crackers, fruits, and veggies. Dinner will be Salisbury steak deluxe over mashed potatoes and a vegetable. Friday is my day of fasting for Lent, so I won't eat anything until dinner time. And dinner is going to be grilled cheese with tomato soup. I will probably make pancakes for Doug for breakfast that day. And then on Saturday, our usual omelets and bacon. Lunch will be a clean out the fridge, whatever's left in there. And dinner will be at my brother's house for Pinochle. So like I said, not doing a whole lot of cooking again this week, but it's just the season of life we're in right now. Um, I do need, we'll probably need to make crackers and bread when we get back. Um, I'm assuming that will all be gone. So that is it for this week. So earlier in the week, I did make a bunch of bagels and I have those in the freezer. They're gonna go with us. Um, the hotels we're staying at all have a breakfast, but you never know what they're gonna have. So we're just gonna take bagels and yogurt and then we know we'll have something that we want to eat. Um, and that, you know, fits in for the most part with how we eat because you know when you're on vacation on the road that it is what it is. We try to make the best choices we can, but they're not perfect. I mean, I know that we're gonna be eating out, we're gonna be eating stuff that we normally don't eat, and that's okay. The thing is, you gotta get right back to it when you get back. You can't keep that same mindset. You know, we will get back to the whole foods and the cooking from scratch. We're just not doing it while we're on the road because, well, I don't have a kitchen. I guess I could have gotten an Airbnb with a kitchen, but honestly, we used our points for a hotel, so <laughs> couldn't do that for an Airbnb. So anyway, that is it. I know it's not much um, between the chemo day and the leftovers and all that, but that just gives a glimpse of what we are eating during a crazy week. So. Ah! Apparently, Hayes is done talking, so that means I am... He's starting the talk, so I am done talking. So that is it for me, my friends, and I will see you all in my next video.